Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sumeran and in this video I am going to show you exactly what a bunny chow is and how you can make it at home by yourself. So now let's get to it. Today I am here at the Japanese gardens in Durban. Okay, so the two things you need for any bunny chow is unsliced bread and a certain curry. The curry that I'm making today is lamb curry. I bought these curry pieces already cut at the butchery. So I just need to cook it now. We'll deal with this unsliced bread later. And so let's get this fire started. While the fire is starting, I'm going to cut the onions and garlic and stuff, all the ingredients that I need. Get this onion cut. That's the onions. I'm going to use about half of this garlic. Just about half. Let's clean it. Now that this wood is ready, I'm going to add my grill on. I left a little space there so I could add in more uh, firewood if I need to. So I'm going to add my pot onto the fire and then I'm going to add in some oil. And once the oil is hot you can add in your onions. Next up is the ginger and garlic. Next is the lamb that I washed earlier. So this is ready to go in. I'm going to add in some curry leaves and some salt about say one teaspoon I'm just gonna leave it to cook like that for a few minutes then I'll add in the masala and uh, chili powder Next up are the spices I'm going to add in one teaspoon of masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric. Next up is the chili powder or curry powder, depends on where you are in the world. So this is what makes the curry nice and hot and spicy and gives it that nice red look to it. So let me get two tablespoons. Okay, maybe, maybe two and a half, just for fun. 
I can add my tomatoes and then stir. I'm just going to add about half a glass of water and let this cook on low heat for about half an hour. Let me have a look at it. Going well so far. Well, it is half an hour later. I'm going to add in the potatoes. And about half a glass more of water. I'm just going to leave this to cook for another 20 to 30 minutes until the potatoes are cooked and then it's ready. Let me check on my curry. It's looking good. Let me check on the potatoes. See, if you put your spoon on a potato and it just cuts through like that, like that should be done this is okay can come off the heat now the last thing i need to add to the curry is some coriander or dhania as we call it here in durban so in the beginning of the video I said basically what we need is two ingredients unsliced white bread and a curry so I have the curry sorted let's go on to the bread so what is a bunny chow basically basically it has nothing to do with uh, bunnies or even rabbits or even like the Easter bunny it has nothing to do with that what a bunny chow is is wait let me get my phone Uh, a bunny chow, often referred to simply as a bunny, is an Indian South African uh, dish consisting of a hollowed out loaf of white bread filled with curry and a serving of salad on the side. It originated in Durban, South Africa, where I am from. So, this is the bread. I need to hollow out the inside of it. I need a knife. So this is my loaf of unsliced white bread. I'm basically going to be cutting a quarter out of it. That is a single serving size. But if you were eating this together with like maybe three or four people, instead of cutting a single serving size, you could cut the top out and hollow it from the top. But since it's just for me, I'm going to be cutting out a quarter of this loaf. That is a quarter bunny chow. So I have my quarter here. What I need to do now is cut the inside out, hollowing out this bread, taking the inside part out, sort of basically making it into like a bowl that's made out of bread. So I cut the sides out. I just need to grab it. See? 
I hollowed out the bread. So basically, as I said, you could have cut in the top the whole loaf if you were sharing it with like three or four people. But this is a single serving size. Okay, it's time to fill up our bread with some curry. All you do is fill the inside, the hollowed part out with the curry that I just cooked. You get to here and you probably think, oh, that's enough. Well, no. You need to fill it up to the point where it's actually leaking with gravy. Even if it's leaking over the bread, it's still fine. Well, now, it is time to eat. I made this carrot salad here. It's basically grated carrot, some onions, uh, tomatoes and green chilies. Where to start? Let me start with the actual bread. Hmm. Add some carrot sauce. Let me take a bit of the part that I hollowed out. So basically, what you do is you eat everything on this plate. You can start at one corner, you can just dig in from the middle. For this video, I decided to use lamb as the curry that I put inside. But you could easily put a chicken curry or even a mutton curry. But if you are using mutton, because mutton is tougher, you'll probably have to cook it for longer. Or you could use a beans curry maybe, or even a seafood curry like a prawns curry and even if it collapses on one side you just keep eating and there we are all done now you know how to make a bunny at home yourself if you do end up making your own bunny at home uh, let me know in the comments. You can let me know whether you use lamb or maybe chicken or what other curry you ended up using. Thank you all for watching. Bye. You see, my hand has full curry on it. Bye.